you gotta get back high. What the fuck is you talking about? Clearly, look up top. I, for all you niggas that grew up in, in beautiful homes, close your bitch ass eyes, all right? That is bop head activity, all right? Okay? Look up top, everybody. If you grew up in great suburban areas, I'm not talking to you because you don't fucking know, okay? Anybody that grew up in the hood, why is Holler the only human on stage moving that fast? It's because he's on that jigger. He's on that bop. Yes, he is, man. We grew up around that shit. We can tell the symptoms because we grew up around it. He's on that bop, man. He's Look how good he feel in that, in that footage with Boosie. Like he wrote Wipe Me Down or something. Boosie didn't even start his burst. Holla jumped in the light with him and said, look at me, Boosie. Look at me. That nigga opened his arms and said, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and he was Boosie pointed to the crowd and Holla made that man give him fucking five, y'all. I like you, you trying to give me five. No, he man. That's what that nigga said. Y'all that nigga said, give me five. Boosie like, hey man, what's up with dude? <laughs> then a girl tried to, oh, you know, one of them thoughts tried to get her thigh in the little light with him. Man, nigga Holla pushed her back. Get your ass back. You get back. Man, what the fuck is you doing? It's like Boosie looking like, damn, is this me? Is this a clone of me? And Holler's just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, he was high out his mind. Click play on top. Now, is there any Hitman Holler fan that want to defend that? Because I'll let you, for real. Because you ain't going to tell us that he don't, he ain't the only motherfucker moving fast up there. He's the only person pumping it like that on stage. He, That motherfucker... Here's wipe me down at a speed that y'all don't hear it. That's why he pumping it like that. Wipe me down is wipe me down. He hearing like wipe me down, oh, wipe me down, wipe me down, wipe me down. That just sound like the chipmunks. Wipe me down, wipe me down. In his head, in his mind. That's why he's moving so motherfucking fast. He see Boosie, Boosie turning around, y'all. That nigga Boosie turning around like, hey, what beat do he hear it out? Boosie thinking am I on this shit? Because because I'm 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 thinking Boo Pop probably on a perk or something. He like, damn, am I that behind the the, the record? Because Holler behind him like, wipe me down, wipe me down, wipe me down, wipe that B O O S I E. He just jumping at Boosie like B O S. So it's it's confusing. He's the only nigga on stage on that gym. Look, who now who gonna defend it? Who who wanna defend it? A hey, three Letterman. Can your baggy shirt ass defend him right here? Oh no, nigga. I don't give the person on building. Yes, you do, nigga. You ought to bring Ty Lib on there talking about some uh, St. Louis battle rapper. Shut your weird ass up, nigga. You know my name, nigga. My name is your existence. It's written all over your page. Untag me and you go un into poverty, nigga. How about that, nigga? Fuck is wrong with you? Niggas try to play. This nigga tried to play with me. Man, I'm stepping. I'm finna have your file, dork. You up first. I'm putting the gun to your head first, motherfucker. And I'm gonna show you what time. Cause see you, the devil don't like to be exposed now, does he, pussies? Huh? All you motherfuckers need to do is stay your bitch asses in line. Every now and then, people start trying to flex their little muscles. Niggas do 10 motherfucking push-ups and think they can dance with God. No, they ain't. Three Letterman told me what that nigga said. Pick up, go in your spaces and do that thing to me. Go ahead, go ahead, do that thing, nigga. Go ahead, nigga. I'm ready, nigga. So I said, okay. I clicked the, I, I, hey, y'all, I clicked the stove on. I didn't even put grease in the pan or nothing. Like, the stove was just on. Like, that nigga jumped out the car and blocked me. He smelt his skin from the burn and jumped. And I'm like, damn, dude, you told me to do this shit to you. I'm just listening to your advice, motherfucker. You said burn your ass. I'm sorry, come on, let's get, let's get to it. But nah, you up first, nigga. You up first. Now, which Hitman Hall of Fan wants to deny that? Okay. So these are the things we gotta, things that make sense, right? Um, the guy told y'all, oh my God, the event is almost sold out and added another battle. Now, what nigga makes his overhead higher <laughs> if the building is almost sold out? I know y'all don't think, but that's what I'm here to do for you. There is no nigga that's going to add a battle on if it's almost sold out. I mean, the building is gone. You add a battle on when you need more sale. 
because the game was locked at first, and clearly there's no buzz on it for real. There's no excitement. There's no hype on it. No one's talking about it. Hollow's getting exposed every day, and it's just like, it's kind of like, ah, uh, not so much. You know what I'm saying? So it's draining. Bird stepping on you. My cousin Byron stepping on you. It's like, it's kind of like, it's bad, though, for real. It is. And it's going to get worse because I keep telling them I ain't went into my playbook yet. I keep saying that. I'm not making this up. I ain't even started. I'm just beating you off your words right now. I'm not doing anything to you yet. Technically, I'm repeating everything that's already documented. That's it. That's the brilliant part about me because I stay in the guidelines and everything. Everything I said to him is already up and documented. Interesting, right? It's just, it just probably feels like abuse, but it's not. Trust me. It's not. But, um... Mr. Mr. Uh, what was I say? Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Window. Mr. Mr. Uh. Yeah, Mr. Holly. Um, that's why I said we need to just go ahead and just you know get him a little help and make him stop this shit for real. Because I feel sorry for him. I really do. I I strongly do. I strongly do. Uh, I, I, I do. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, no one adds on a battle, guys, if the building is already almost sold out. Because you already assume the last day tickets will go even faster if it's almost sold out. You wouldn't put this act, you wouldn't add two more niggas on there. And the thing is, that white boy don't don't even research. He don't have one battle that got a million views on it, which definitely questions why you didn't bring any money to St. Louis or the Midwest. And half ain't gonna really promote it too much. You know, there's anybody really talking about it but you and Geechee when y'all want to. It's really no flex on it. That's the truth. We're not lying to you. That's why I don't think it's us as people. Like, why are we paying for some shit like that? That man wanted war with me and still got a free 20. That's your, that's your pay per view money right there. It's on me, guys. The pay per view this year is on me. Bootleg the fuck out of it. Um, Holla got 20,000. And still pick war with me and blame me for stopping 20,000. And he still got it. The pay per view on me, guys. Bootleg City. I bought the pay per view for everybody. 20,000 worth. Mm -hmm. I bought it. Because he told y'all his whole campaign was Verb stopped his money. He got the money. Didn't say nothing to y'all. I didn't say nothing. That's got quiet. But Verb had to take that tag, though. And he didn't even tell you how the real shit. I paid for the pay-per-view. We ain't spending a dollar on it. You know how many rooms would be open this time? I bought it. I'm not taking a tag for stopping 20. If I stop 20 for you, I'm going to stop it right now. Though. Now I'm going to stop it too. I know it's brilliant, name, But, you know, when you deal with dumb niggas, that's what anybody that fuck with me, trust me, it'll be some kind of room open because that's what happens all the time, right? All you got to do is go find it. I wouldn't do it because that would be tacky on my end, but it'll probably be 50 or 60 rooms open. Like, what the fuck is you buying it for? What? I'm just trying to see because I took a tag of stopping some money. He got the money. He didn't even say shout out to Jerry for giving me the money. Nothing. He didn't tell y'all that. Right? I bought the pay review. Get to a room and watch it for free. Niggas. No, buy, buy what? For what? It'll be plenty of rooms open, I'm sure. Plenty. You should not never fuck with me. You hear me hit man? You should never fuck with me, man. <laughs> I yes. Uh... My buys up and tries up this eye. Oh, holla. <laughs> holla, holla. Hey, listen, look, bro, listen. You probably should stop for real. Because Byron really got you, though. You probably should stop. Like, we trying to chill out. We just want to have a good time, baby. But, uh, yeah, yeah I took the $20,000 hit. So, pay-per-view on me. Pay-per-view on me, my people! Get to a room, motherfuckers! It'll be a gang of rooms over. Why would you? You ain't got to pay for it. Bird, bird pay for it. I took the, you know what they did to Jesus? They crucified Jesus. And he rose again, just like today, motherfucker. You thought you was going to stab me in my side. And then guess what happened? You came back to that. Too. Yeah, we got his ass. I was outside the tomb smoking a cone. Like, that's all you got, nigga? You know where the fuck you at, nigga? So if I took that pain for, 
for, for the people, for the culture. I took that pain for your sins. Oh, ain't no buying no paper. That don't make sense. I'm going to show you something, little nigga. Ain't no buying no pay with you. Why? Everybody here bootlegs, right? And Holla can't say nothing about it, even if I wanted to open 10 or 15 rooms, right? And just pass the codes around all over the world for people to enjoy for free, right? Like, let's say if I really chose to do that, that would be okay, because he does interviews with Cole and them, and they bootleg everything, right? I mean, I, I'm clearly I'm in my right, correct? Because evidently, Cole and them bootleg everything, and you you go right in their rooms and talk, so you support it. You got to support me, too. I bought the pay-per-view. Hey, save your money, my people. Save y'all pay. Trust me, it'll be rooms everywhere. I'm sure of it. It always is. What the fuck is y'all doing paying for something, I told you, yeah, it's, in war, boy, you better learn how to stop it. Especially when you're dealing with forces. See, you don't, you don't really process the thought that it's another one, too. It's not just you, man. I'm stronger because I ain't got the help or the assistance. He, he tweeting from his fake page. I dropped the album that flopped called Crawford or something. And I said, what? You're the one that flopped. You on Wildin' Out every day. You've been in movies, you've been on TV series, Nick Cannon put out an album for you, and you came back to battle rap. You the flop. I mean, I've i been rejecting rap. I've re I rejected your, your rap money. When you offered me rap money, I said no. And Cal Calico offered it to me, and I said no. And ARP offered it to me, and I said no. And it was all within the same six weeks. That don't sound like a flop. You the one came back and started going to war and asking for money. And then you got the, and then said, I stopped your money and had people saying, Verb, hated on him. He still got the money. Told you that little fucker was evil. Just waiting on him to blow a gasket. He always gonna make a mistake. That motherfucker's evil, man. And and, and look, that's why we ain't putting no, hey, Holla, we ain't putting no money in your hand, but we will get you in rehab, though. Because we see you on up top. If y'all click the link up top, he is the only person moving that fast on stage, and he was trying to take over Boosie's show. Tag my cousin Byron. Because, like, we got to talk about this right quick, because it's like, it's getting kind of crazy. Like, it's, it's unheard of, man. It's kind of crazy, uh -huh. My last name and Byron's last name is the same. Crazy. And and we both not going for this type of shit. It's only two of us doing this. That motherfucker done had 35 niggas speak against me and y'all complain. It's only the men do. Niggas better rap. Three. Everybody else, what? Quiet. All y'all other people dick blow. And just take command and do what he asked you to do. Take the money he gave you to talk about the event and lie. And we know damn well it's going to be 90 to 100 rooms open like it always is. Man, how about that? That nigga got free money and never told you how he got it. Just kept war going and said he wanted to kill me. Oh, you ain't going to kill me, demon. Get some of that money, though. Uh-huh. And anybody else that want to fuck with me, we will bootleg your events. I'm petty enough to go bootleg, like, because people support bootleggers. Now, I didn't see John John, like, back in the circles with Cole and him for bootlegging. I didn't see that. Probably did it. He's the biggest guy, so we all can do it. The fuck is y'all thinking? The fuck? Why? No. Burr paid for Because I paid for the disrespect. He got the money. And I didn't even tell y'all. He told y'all that. Oh, no, I'm only beating him with shit. He said. It's insanity. Yeah, so this this year, we not doing that. I nigga told y'all the motherfucking seats almost. Boss, you better stop lying with that dumb ass nigga because you, you next up. You know I don't give a fuck. You next up. Right, right when I done with three. I'm gonna come see you. We're gonna show you what betrayal is. That stupid ass nigga. You was in a room with me all the time. You was standing next to me all the time. That nigga came over there and told you what? A motherfucking lie? Watch this. Huh. Never y'all hey listen. Y'all can play with anybody else, man. Just don't come fucking with me though. That's all I'm saying, though. That's it. Damn, like. 
I be running my head into the wall like, bro, why would y'all be wanting to fuck with me? They have to wait. I never involved nobody in our shit. He did. Constantly. And y'all kept jumping in. All right? All right, stay in the car. Sit still. Sit still. Now, now, boss, how you gonna explain that with him up top moving that fast? He he was he was feeling himself, man. No, he wasn't. His freaky ass was feeling himself, man. All right, because the bags and bodies niggas had already opened their mouth and said other shit too. I have not went into my playbook yet, y'all. I have not showed y'all any of my moves. Anything I'm saying is already out. Has nothing to do with me. This is this is this is not my playbook. This is what's available. When I started, it's dark. Others only, this is this is PG stuff to me. You niggas, it's nothing. I told you I got bombs, man. I just I just make it sound like bombs because I'm so dangerous. Why I'm so serious? Yeah, I'll be having a good time. Yeah, I'll be having a good time, man. That's it, man. Everybody just say, like, I offer y'all a pumpkin pie. I try to be cool with niggas. Just be cool with me. Be my friend. Shit, baby. And it won't no harm come to you. Shit. But I was shocked there's so many people in their disrespect. Like, bloggers, rappers. I was like, damn, so all y'all niggas punk. Because I understand. Because y'all, y'all know who y'all are. And I get it. I get it now. I get it. Now I get it. Because it's like, you, you niggas jump in y'all suits and zip them up. And then, like, that's not a case. Shine, shout out, shout out, shout out to Shine. Me and Shine got a strange thing. We don't get along, but we understand each other. You know what I mean? But um, y'all niggas jump in these costumes and then pretend to be who you want to be, and that's not who you really are. So when you see that in the masses, y'all all jump in the car together, which makes sense because all y'all niggas is distressed. I get it. I get it. But three letter me, you are first, though. Uh-huh, you're going to pay for your sins. Yeah. And then I'm going to go boss. And then I'm going I'm to announce the list of people that I'm going to step on. Because right now, my cousin Byron is getting all you niggas filed who the fuck you motherfuckers really are. And then they're going to put them in front of the table. And then I'm going to put them on a bullhorn and I'm going to say it louder. I'm black and I'm proud like that. That's the thing. He finds the information. I'm going to bark that shit. It's going to go everywhere and become infectious. That's how it works. We're going to find out who's a fucking freak here. We're going to find out who has fucking fetishes and what crimes that you have been uh, in the mix of. Uh-huh. Then I'll be able to decode the matrix on who the fuck you niggas really are. And I'm going to have a good time doing it. And we're doing it to everybody. The rappers, 40 bars, everybody. Sorry. Everybody must pay. Hmm? All of you. And it's okay. It's okay. Fear comes later, guys. Not right now, not right now, okay? All this could have been stopped. It could have been stopped. And it's like, I still have not, I, like when people be saying, Verb is burning him, or Verb is tripping. Listen, the footage of him that was up skating, y'all saw his skating footage when he picked his leg up and threw his ass. Y'all saw that, right? You did see that. You, so we didn't see it? Can somebody close it up top? I mean, let me know what's up. If somebody send it to me again, because it's footage. Sandy guys, I'm sure. We saw foot. We saw him roller skating in leather pants, and he picked his leg up and popped his ass. Yes, he did. Yes, the fuck he did. He's in the industry right now. Clearly, on this footage, you press play on. He's on that bop. He's in the industry. They're doing bop, which is what y'all call Molly and shit like that. He's up all night. He's partying. This is no longer here, man. Mm -hmm. This is another nigga. This ain't here, man. This ain't here. No. It's like it's just it's just more. Have y'all y'all ain't saw the footage? When he when he roller skating and he picked his leg up like that? I couldn't have did that. I couldn't have had been throwing an event and put a gay man on the car before a straight man. I couldn't have did that. I couldn't have I couldn't have got away with not marrying a girl that went through a traumatic experience. I couldn't have got away with that. I couldn't have got away with socking girls in the city like, oh, oh, I couldn't have got away with that. Huh? 
So we gotta be fair around it, but I wanna get I wanna give them some help though. So we're gonna cut that money out. Like hey, everybody, trust me, I believe I got the word. It'll be quite a few pages available. It would it would it would, it don't make sense. I bought it already. But uh, Jesus took them took that uh, that crucifix uh, crucifixion, and I took that. So y'all, so you niggas could be free. But I rose, didn't I? I took that stabbing in the side. 